beautiful people today's video is about starting or rekindling a hobby so i used to embroider when i was around 10 or 11 years old and many decades have passed and i just lost touch with it so a friend recently called me over for tea and she embroiders and i found my lost love so i came home and I had this old gift box that had come as part of a Christmas gift hamper last year in December. And I had bits of this wallpaper. I just repapered the entire box. And wherever there were smudges or black marks, I put stickers. And now I have this beautiful embroidery box. This was what we started working on. And I'm going to finish it. And... This is a nifty little pouch here for when you're traveling and you want to carry your current piece of embroidery with you. I ordered from Amazon the embroidery kit. I'll show you what came in it. So I have the, oh, these rings, there are four of them, different sizes. You have a set of needles. This is to cut. This is for you to draw your design. This is a threader. This is a stitch remover and these are little pins to hold your piece of cloth while you embroider. And this is a bag of 50 skeins of beautiful, beautiful thread. And they have shaded ones, they have umber ones, they have mixed ones. So now I'm going to arrange this embroidery box and I'm going to bring you in for a closer look. And when you want to draw a pattern... Take, there's some cloth also which they've included. You can use this cloth or you can buy ready-made hankies of any color, plain hankies. Or you can buy tea napkins or regular napkins and you can embroider a set of four or six and give it as a gift. So there's just a lot of things that you can do. Keep your design simple. Go on Pinterest and find a design that works. So in fact, this design and how it's done, this particular stitch we found on pinterest and first time not too bad got to complete it and it's just great so the world web is there for you to spruce up on your hobby and it just makes really good gifts and passes time beautifully so i'm going to arrange this and then i'm going to bring you in for a closer look so this is the box now. I've used this jute bag to put all the skeins of thread so they don't get displaced. I've taken a little bag over here to put in the little pin tags, the threader, the cutter and the stitch remover. Needles are already in this case so they're going to stay safe and the rings are here. The cloth is here and my current project is going to be right on top with the threads that I'm going to be using. And then the lid goes on and here you have it, a beautiful, beautiful box for your embroidery and it's all, it's upcycled because this box came as a gift box and now is being used as an embroidery box. So there is no age, no right time, no specific occasion for you to start a new hobby. See what interests you, try it out and then go for it. So this entire embroidery kit is available on amazon you can search for a pack that suits your needs they have small packs they have larger packs and they're great offers going on it and this is how you can put together a nifty little embroidery box and uh, just take it from there don't expect to make masterpieces and start small with simple stitches with each stitch that you learn you learn something new so i have learned how to make this stitch and then i'm going to use the green to make leaves using a simple stitch and a stem using the stem stitch and then i'm going to hem the edges and make it into a little napkin you can also just use this to hang and as your own artwork trim the extra cloth and just hang this on the wall different lengths you can do that but then you lose the ring and uh, you can also just frame it and give it as a gift. 
So there's just so many things you can do. Best of all, it's a great hobby for me. I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. Do like, subscribe and share and keep watching. So that kind of encourages me to keep making. Have a great rest of the day.